Hey everybody, I, you're probably wondering why I'm standing here. I have a coat on and my scarf. Well, this is the beginning of Black History Month and we have put together some amazing, amazing ministry moments. I'm going to be on location doing the message, which means I've got to go outside. But we want you to be a part of this amazing worship experience. Please speak to us in the chat. Encourage our musicians. Encourage our singers. Encourage our ministers. And I will be back with you. Again, I'll be on location preaching. That means I got to go outside, so pray with me. It's cold out there. And we also want to let you know that we've done a beautiful job here changing around the pulpit. I want to thank our media team for putting together this LC LED projection that is behind us throughout the month of February. Messages and information will be presented right in the midst of worship real time. So we are excited about what's going to happen today. We have a lot of things in store for you. Our special booklet that's going to give you history. It's going to give you some information and inspiration around black history. We have also created a black history game entitled Open Your Eyes. It gives you biblical information and it gives you historical information we want you to play the game as a family. Thank you for joining us today. I'm so excited about this on location message that I'm doing entitled, It's Time to Get Free, The Power in You. Make sure you recognize the power in you. All right, I'll see you a little bit later in worship. God bless. Our story. Our song by OM3. A people of brilliance and beauty clash with the corrupt and broken spirit of profit gone mad. Capital without conscience, wealth without risk, producing an era of slavery built on the bones of shattered truth. A people now spanning the rainbow from charming chocolate to vibrant vanilla stamped with a one-drop rule that makes all rainbows black. Yet from this tragic moment, the Spirit of God refused to die, and Africans born on water, blessed with powers wrapped in melanin gifts of human flesh. A spiritual community, the blues people, a jazz remnant, the gospel glorifiers, a soul cadre, and the hip-hop hope. This is their story. This is their truth told this day through my
Jesus Christ our Lord. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, thy strength and my redeemer. Now let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught the disciples when they asked, Master, teach us to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever.
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We are so glad that you are worshiping with us today. We know that you will be blessed by this worship experience that we have curated today. We have a special, special thing for you today as our senior pastor is preparing to film a powerful sermon on location for us today. We have just a few additional announcements um, on February 10th at 7 p.m. We will have book notes with Pastor Moss. This will be a virtual conversation featuring Lisa Sharon Harper, who is the author of Fortune. Then on February 20th at 2 p.m., book notes with Pastor Moss, a virtual conversation with Shaka Shikor, author of Letters to the Sons of X Society, A Father's Invitation to Love, Honesty, and Freedom. We ask right now that you will turn your attention to our Trinity News and our art. Hey, Trinity family, listen, you already know what time it is. It's time for Trinity News. There are so many amazing things happening here in the life of our church, and we want you to be informed, remain engaged, and stay connected to our work and ministry as we seek to lift up Christ, engage our community, and celebrate our culture. Let us go now to Trinity News. To the village of Trinity, Please open your e-newsletter. We have a survey for you in reference to CDOT, that is the Department of Transportation. We need you to fill out this survey so we can share this information with the Department of Transportation to let them know what this community wants and what this community needs. We need you to fill out the survey. Use the QR code to scan the information. It will open up on your phone or other device so you can fill out the survey in reference to the Department of Transportation's proposal around 95th Street. Thank you very much. Join Pastor Moss for two dynamic virtual book discussions on Thursday, February 10th at 7 p.m., the Book Notes series guest will be Lisa Sharon Harper, author of Fortune. This book analyzes how race broke the author's family, the world, and how to prepare it all. On Sunday, February 20th at 2 p.m., Pastor Moss's guest will be Chaka Sangor, author of Letters to the Sons of Society, A Father's Invitation to Love, Honesty, and Freedom. You don't want to miss these lively and enriching virtual discussions. To register to attend, scan the QR code or log on to the Trinity United Church of Christ website at www.trinitychicago.org. This has been your Trinity News. At Trinity United Church of Christ, we haven't stopped lifting up Christ, engaging our community, and celebrating our culture, even in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Each month, we have fed our neighbors through food share and special food giveaways in partnership with the Greater Chicago Food Depository. We partnered with the Howard Brown Health Center, Advocate Healthcare Center, and Imani Village to provide over 22,000 COVID-19 vaccinations. We provided over $100,000 in scholarships to Trinity members who are pursuing higher education goals and our membership and viewership has continued to grow both physically and virtually worldwide. We haven't stopped because of God's grace. We haven't stopped because of your generosity. And today you can help us continue to give God the glory and support the powerful ministry of Trinity United Church of Christ by sharing your tithes and offerings through Access ACS, Secure Give, Text to Give, First Fruits, U.S. mail or drop your offerings off at Trinity, the greatest church this side of the Jordan.
prayer for those who are sick and shut in. We pause to honor those who have received the victory as we pray for those families who are bereaved. And then, oh God, we, we thank God for what God continues to do in our life. So let us pause for a moment of prayer. Eternal God, we come before you this day thanking you, oh God, for another day. God, we thank you as you continue to bless and move in a mighty way on this service. We ask, oh God, right now in the name of Jesus that you bless those who are under the sound of my voice, oh God, who is seeking, oh God, to know you better. 
We ask, oh God, that you bless those who are lost and alone, oh God. We ask for prayer, oh God, for those who are homeless, those who are out in the cold. And God, we ask that you bless those who are sick and shut in. You know what they stand in need of, oh God, and so we ask that you meet each and every one of them at their points of need. And then, God, while links have been broken from family chains, God, we ask that you bind them closer together in the name of Jesus, God. Touch and move, God. Consecrate their hearts, oh God. Give them strength for the families, oh God, that need you, God. Bind them, oh God, closer together that one won't fall without the other, God. And so, God, we ask that you bless the preacher man today as he is out on location, God. Cover and keep them, oh God. We thank you, God, for the word that will be brought from on high, that it will bless some man, woman, boy, or girl, that they might want to know what must I do to be saved. And then, oh God, as you continue to bless this branch of Zion, God, we thank you that you continue to use us to your glory. And then, God, we have come to ask for a special blessing on those who continue to lead, oh God, and who said that I will serve you in a special way this year, oh God. We ask for those ministry chairs and those officers, God, we ask that you touch them and anoint them and give them a special blessing, oh God, as they have chosen to say, I will continue to serve God. I will do the work that you have called me to do, God. Now, oh God, use us, oh God to your glory. We ask God that you bless and move in a special way, God. That everything that is done in each ministry, oh God, will be lifted, oh God, and that you get the glory. And as they see the work that is done through the ministry partners, that they see you and not us. God, we just bless you. And we thank you, God, for what you're going to do this year through the service of our ministries. As we continue to serve God, touch our hearts, oh God that we might do the things that you have called us to do. This is our prayer, God, as we offer it up to you, God, thanking, O oh God, trusting, O oh God, and believing, O oh God, you to be the great I am. For it is in the precious name of Jesus that we offer this prayer. And for those who love God, said, Amen. Let us pray. We gather in remembrance of what our Lord did for us on the cross. As we pray over these elements, we are thankful for the opportunity to commune with you one more time, God. We thank you. We honor you. We adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord is compassionate and gracious and continues to look beyond our faults. In our confession, we acknowledge that we have not done the things that we should have done, not done the things that God desired us to do. But God remains faithful, and in this assurance of pardon, God continues to remind us of what he has done. We're not saved by titles or what we do or how great we think we are. We are saved by God's grace each and every day. That unmerited, unwarranted favor and his acts of love. And so we are so grateful for what God continues to do for us each and every day. So on the night when he was betrayed, the Lord took the bread, he broke it, and he offered it up to heaven, saying, this is my body, which has been broken for you. Let us eat. Likewise, he took the cup, which represents the blood of the new covenant and shed for the remission and redemption for our sins. This do in remembrance of me, let us drink. Let us pray. 
Oh God, we thank you for this opportunity to commune with you. Thank you, oh God, for your victory. That you have died and you saw fit, God, for us to live. You saw fit to continue to forgive us over and over again. So we bless you, God. We thank you, God. We glorify you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Every obstacle you face, every mountain you climb, every valley you walk, every hurdle before you is fueling your destiny. The moment you made the decision to rise from your bed and fight the voices calling you to rest, you stepped on the road called destiny. This is the day. This is the day, the only day you will have to chase your dream. This is the only day you will have to live out your purpose. Tomorrow is gone. The failures of yesterday are nothing but lessons for this moment. Tomorrow is not promised, the future has not arrived, but this present, this moment is all you have, and it is the gift offered by God. Use it. Fight through the doubt. Press past the fear. Push through the anxiety. Stop speaking words of death to your own soul. And remember, you have been commanded by God to be strong. You have been called to be courageous. So, beloved, do not shrink. Do not flinch, do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, for our God will be with you. Do you know who you are? All that conspired in creation to bring forth your spirit into this world is a miracle. Never forget, empires colluded to enslave you. Nations plotted to stop your progress. Men and women lied to you to keep you from the truth. People spoke words of death, hoping you would believe stereotypes, embrace myths, and celebrate fake stories designed to lead you astray. The enemy threw every dagger at you. The adversary emptied the chamber. The devil pulled every trick out of the book. And I can say with authority, the devil is a liar. Look at you. You must be mighty powerful if a nation of millions cannot hold you back. But here you are, dreaming a new day to come, grinding to be at the top of your game, scrapping to hold a piece of this American dream, Beloved, you are the hope of those once enslaved. You are the wildest dreams of your ancestors who stand in the balcony of eternity cheering you on. You are the embodiment of a democracy yearning to breathe. You are the key to a nation yet to be born, a lyric of a song yet to be sung, the close of a sermon yet to be preached. Take a moment, feel the power in your soul. Take a breath, take a breath and experience the Spirit anointing you. Beloved, can you feel it? Can you feel the Spirit pressing on your soul, whispering in your heart, telling you to rise, telling you to know there is power? As I was with Moses, I will be with you. Be courageous, do not be terrified. I will be with you as you step into your promised moment. God is making the statement that I sent someone before you. I was with Moses, I was with those who were before you. 
and I will be with you. This is ancestral wisdom. Yes, God is saying that I sent people before you. I held Moses in my hand. I sent Rachel. I kept Hagar. I blessed Joshua. I walked with Abraham. Do you not know that there is an entire lineage before you? Do you not understand that there are people that surround you that are a great cloud of witnesses? As I was with Moses, I will be with you. So stand strong, be ready. Know that God has you. As God had your mama, as God had your father, as God had your grandmother, as God had your grandfather, God holds you. Be strong and do not be terrified and get ready to step into your sacred moment. This is what is known as sacred authority. God is saying that I recognize that you are a person of power. Don't you know all that had to happen for you to even come into this world? That God stepped back and simply said, I have created one who will make a difference. Not unlike the snow that is around us. You cannot tell the difference between each snowflake, but if I were to pick one up, God etched out each flake with a uniqueness. But when they come together, they can cover the earth. If we make the decision to know that we are individually and made with such beauty and magnificently designed by God, but when we come together as a link in the chain, we can cover the earth. We can change our community. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. Do not be terrified, be courageous for God will walk with you. The only thing that you need to know that there is ancestral wisdom, there is sacred authority, there must be radical acceptance. What does this mean, beloved? It means that God has already invested in you. What does this mean, beloved? It means that God already believes in you, that if you understand the power that is in you, the only thing stopping you from stepping into your promise moment is you. The moment that you realize that you are the only obstacle from yourself stepping into the moment that God has for you, then at that moment, the devil will start to curse knowing that you understand the power that is in you. That you are the only one who is the hurdle. You are the only one who is the locked door. You are the only one that refuses to step across the threshold. As I was with Moses, I shall also be with you. But I say to you this day, do not worry if you do not reach your promised moment. Do not worry if you do not reach the stars. As one elder said, Make sure you have stars to reach, because even if you don't reach your stars, at least you will be in the clouds. Hold your head up. You are one of power and authority. There are a great cloud of witnesses around you that God has worked on you for this moment. There is power in you. If we are to be free as a community, free as a nation, free as a world, you need to know that God has already set up something for you. As I was with Moses, I shall be with you. Be courageous, hold your head up, throw your shoulders back and know that you are a child of God and step into your destiny. As I was with Moses, I shall be with you. Be courageous. Do not be terrified because there is power, power in you.
I will bless the Lord at all times. Hey, everybody, I was just outside. We had a great time. I hope you were blessed by the message, the power in you. It's cold outside. I want to let you know it is really cold outside. But right now, we want to invite you to be a part of the village of faith, to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And this is for you right now. Coming up on your screen, you'll see information. If you would like to email or to call, we welcome you right now. It's time to get free. Don't you know that there is ancestral wisdom around you? Sit by God. As I was with Moses, I am also with you. Don't you know there is sacred authority that God has designed you for a very special purpose? And the only thing keeping you from your promised moment and your promised land is you. You have to have the authority to step into the space that God has already ordained for you. Stop listening to the voice of the adversary and start listening to the voice of God. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. Be courageous. Do not be terrified. Step into your promised moment right now. The moment you do this, the enemy is going to start fussing and probably cussing too because now you know the authority that you have. It's your opportunity to know that God was with your ancestors and God is with you. We thank you so very much for being with us during this Mafa celebration. All this month, we are going to be commemorating our history, our heritage, the triumph, and some of the tragedy but never drinking the poison of despair. God has been with us all through these years, and this is going to be a special celebration. We want to thank the incredible team that we have here at Team Trinity, from our musicians to those who sing to our drama ministry, and all the people who are behind the scenes that you can't see right now, but they do such a marvelous job from our sound, our video, our directors, our set design. We even have some people who do makeup. They like to call themselves holy with a hint of hood. We just really appreciate everyone who is a part of this celebration. And we look forward to seeing you next week as we continue to go higher and higher and higher. I'm Otis Moss. I'm out. Peace.